So I was able to remove the stone exactly how it is from the place that it was sitting in. This pickaxe here in my hand doesn't do that. So I'm able to take it and chew it up and turn it into cobblestone, which is the stuff you see adding up in my bar over there. Yeah, actual stone is, is beautiful and you can cut it and carve it into certain things. If you want to turn regular cobble into stone, you have to cook it. So if you want stone later on, you don't want to waste all of your coal cooking the stone because that's kind of wasting resources. So you move into silk touch, that way you can grab the stone straight up. But then eventually down the line, like right now where I need cobblestone, now I got to set down the stone that I've gotten once upon a time and actually cut it up. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. restocking this is the last one so now we just took like six sta six stacks of stone and turned it into six stacks of cobblestone there's no machine or tool that does it for you in this game you can make a farm that makes a co that makes cobblestone but um I don't want to go building a farm right now for that <laughs> I don't want to go build a farm to build a farm to build a farm. It's not in my wheelhouse at the moment. Okay, so now we can make more pistons. Which is what we needed the cobblestone for. So I'm going to grab three more of that. And go right over here and go pistons. We currently have 23. We need 17 more. I need wood planks. Seventeen, sure. And then we can make those into sticky pistons. Now we have forty, which is exactly where we need to be. So we'll toss this cobblestone into here, and then we can put some more back here. Toss iron in there. Okay, let's go do our thing. I need redstone. Is it not 48 or 24 librarians? It's 24. We might do 48. How you doing, Cod? Welcome in, buddy. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get enough glass. And if I can get enough glass on these guys, I don't need more. I would like, I would like over half of them to have glass trades of some kind. And if I don't, then we'll make a whole other set. Number of pistons needed. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yep, I need to go make more. Because we upped this to 12 over here. You are correct. See, I need to make... Um, eight more, right? Let's grab this cobblestone. Grab... This iron and planks. I also need slime. What the brick is in the... Talking about this thing right here? Is that what you're asking about? Sorry, dumb fingers. Well, I'm trying to figure it out. That? Uh, one second. I'll show you. So it's called a lodestone. And what happens is when you... So a, a regular compass... Let me find a, find a regular compass. I don't have one. I can make one. 
So a regular compass. Let me grab this. A regular compass will point. See the see the regular compass that's not purple. It'll point to spawn. And you see how it's pointing to spawn right now? The arrow's pointing out in front of me. Well, that purple one is a lodestone compass. And this is a lodestone. Wherever you place a lodestone, if you key a compass to it, the compass will always point to it. So you see how that compass is pointing at that lodestone? So if you build a base way out somewhere and you want to be able to find your way back to it, you build a lodestone, you key the compass to it, and the compass will always point to that. That way you'll always know where your home is. How did I build it? Uh, you need a netherite ingot. So if you type in lodestone, that's the that's the recipe right there. It's eight chiseled stone, and then a netherite ingot. Once you get netherite ingots, that that recipe unlocks. Yeah, it's expensive. I built it for um, an advancement. But yeah, that's how that works. All right, let's go with that. All right, so we got that side done. Let's get this side done. Making a villager training hall? Cool, dude. Good luck. All right, there's that. I need to put... What is this machine you're building? I'm building a trading hall for villagers, but it's gonna have an option inside where I can turn them into zombies and then cure them to get a discount on trades. Uh, you can hear a zombie right now. I'll, I'll show you how it works. So down here, for instance, we have a trading hall already set up. And you see how there's a lever here? If I pull this lever, he's going to drop down. Well, if he drops down, there's a zombie that walks around back there. And that zombie will start attacking him and turn him into a, a, a zombie villager. See that zombie right there? He's walking by with sand in his hand. So then, once we cure them, we get discounts. Instead of four iron ingots for an emerald, it's one iron ingot for an emerald. So now we can trade one for one and we can pretty much get infinite emeralds because outside here we have an iron farm which is generating us iron. And then we have chests and chests and chests of iron. So we're using that to our advantage um, in order to generate emeralds to buy and sell things for the rest of the traders. Um, what we're doing upstairs, though, is we're going to be... <laughs> we're putting in librarians. Um, librarians are right here, and they have a chance to have a trade uh, for glass. So all we're looking for is, is glass trades. So the more of those we can get with glass trades, the better off we are. And we're going to go ahead and get them set up with, like, enchantments that we want... That way, once they're good to go, hopefully they have glass as well, and we can trade them for glass. But these pistons are, are going to grab the block that these villagers are sitting on and then send them down to eye level with the zombie to get uh, beat up. Pull the lever, crunk. You can see right there, that's how the iron farm works there. 
those iron golems get made, they die, and then their iron gets put into a conveyor system that gets fed over here to my system that gets sorted, and then the flowers go into there to turn into bone meal, and then right there, and all the iron goes into those chests. So that's how that works over there. And then we got 24 for the other heads. Perfect. All right, we'll sleep, and then we'll get the rest of it going. What was the reason for the composters on top again? To de decrease lag. Because uh, piston or um, hoppers are always trying to grab something, so they're constantly running. So if you play something on top of it with an empty inventory, they won't try to grab anymore and it won't lag the game down. Because the composters are empty. Stuff can still pass through them, but they're not trying to grab anything from the top anymore. So it reduces lag. And we can also use it to run around the farm. Check out all the cool stuff. Do you fight the wither or spawn them under the end portal? This is hardcore after all. So this isn't my first hardcore run in the past few months. And in the other runs, I wanted to beat him legitimately before we cheesed him, like you're saying. Well, since we had done it so much and I knew that we could do it, I was like, this time, we're just going to put him underneath the end portal and cheese him, Mathlete. So I built up everything. I built the wither. I, I started him up, and it was one block off. And then I had to fight him legitimately on the end island. So. Yeah, we fought him already. <laughs> yeah, oof. He... He almost eliminated one entire end pillar. <laughs> There's one end pillar that's almost completely gone because of him. I need trapdoors. But it's okay, we killed him. So I can say we killed him in this save too. Damn it. Free obsidian? I, I don't need that many obsidian. I mean, I guess we do for future builds that need like portals and stuff, but I don't need it right now. <laughs> too much. I also need to get levers and bring them, bring them over here, too. We also need observers. See, we need the cobblestone for more than just the, um, the pistons. We need observers, too. Which I don't think we have enough. We have two. See, I gotta make 22 more. How long have I had this world? Not very long. I think I started it like yesterday or something. Observers. Uh, you. 21. That's all my redstone. I don't have any more redstone! Shit. We gotta go find redstone. Alright, well. Do I have any redstone ore? I don't. I'm completely out of redstone. Damn it. All right, well, let's go get some redstone, I suppose, huh? Yay, off we go to find redstone. I know you don't like duping, but have you ever made a tree farm that uses TNT duping? Not all, not during a hardcore run. No, I made it in, in like a creative world, but I didn't like it. I, I I built a TNT duper, and after it started working, I felt really dirty afterwards. I felt really, really dirty. I don't have torches. Uh, I do have torches. Look, guys. A torch box. <laughs> I always have torches on me. I just keep it in my wallet. All right. We got to find redstone. Oh, you know what sucks? I don't have the right pickaxe. Guys, you're being raided by a shark. I was lurking you, and now I see me on two screens. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Happy... What is today? Sunday. So much Terra. I know. 
How's your how's your Nuzlocke going? Guys, Grabshark was playing some Pokemans. How am I doing? I'm being forgetful. Hi, MT Shaw. Welcome in, buddy. How is your Nuzlocke? How are the things in the stuff? All right. So we're going to use this pickaxe for all of the deep slate, but we're going to use the other pickaxe for when we actually find um, redstone. You didn't do Pokemon. What were you playing then? <laughs> I was sitting here watching you the whole time. Oh, you did Tarkov. That right. Hold on. Your title was... You were trying to get to level 20 solo. No, no, no. He was playing Tarkov because that was his title name. He was trying to get to level 20 solo. I I, I can see him right here. Or I, I was seeing him. It says Terra Referral Raid. If I backspace one, I'm at Grab Shark. Soloing, trying to hit 20 today. See? Easy. I was All I had to do was click. Warner, I've been focusing on this, man. <laughs> Grab Shark, I hope it went well for you, bud. Thanks for being here. <laughs> so then how was the Tarkov, then? Did you hit level 20? Did you get there solo? I really want to play Tarkov, Grab Shark, but I can't, I can't justify spending the money on the game right now. Even your bot knows. Well, the bot pulls Twitch's API. It's good that the bot works. At least we know that works and functions correctly. Ah! Is that not a fortune pick you're using? It is a fortune pick that I'm using. But we're not going to use it to cut the redstone when we find it. Uh, maybe. Probably just going to silk touch it. It was awful. Six died, including three Pokemon. Well, yeah, I remember that. I was there for that. With a few deaths, but overall success. Okay. Gotcha. Tarkov's tough, and it's tougher if you only get the base game. Wait, there's DLC for it? Ugh. Is there really DLC for it? Gross. Hey, look at us. Redstone. Mine, please. We need all of this redstone. Um. Higher additions. The better additions give you some minor boosts. All of which can be overcome through regular gameplay. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. I can barely afford the base game. We... We need all these other additions. <laughs> yeah, I thought about I thought about getting it, but I need a headset though too. I don't I don't have a headset. I would need like a, a headset so I can put it on and like hear everything. Because it's a very audible game. You need to you need to be able to know where you're at and what's going on. The atmospherics and the environment's important. Hey, we got some diamonds. I don't need them. Yeah, it's a super sound focused game. Yeah, I don't I don't have a headset. Wonder how many diamonds I have now? Not many. Now that I can make unlimited free pickaxes, I don't need any. Guys, we're playing hardcore Minecraft. I've been alive for 525 days, uh, which equates to about 100 hours, give or take. Unlimited free pickaxe. Well, I mean, they're not they, the unlimited free as in they don't cost me any diamonds, viscous. Fine, Grab Shark. Have a good day. 
But we're currently uh, working on a villager trading hall. So, Viscas, you know how I had those trades with the villagers with the smithing table? The last level of, of them, they, they can trade for enchanted pickaxes and stuff. And enchanted shovels, enchanted tools. And one of them that I currently have has a pickaxe that is unbreaking three and silk touch for 30 emeralds. So I can spend 30 emeralds and get an unbreaking silk touch pickaxe. And then I have um, efficiency five and mending on two librarians. So I buy those two books and I can have the whole thing put together for like eight levels, nine levels. More redstone. Nice. I'll take this please. Why do I hear piglins? That's not piglins, is it? What is that noise? See, this is cobbled deep slate, which is why I'm cutting it with this pickaxe in particular. Now this is, oh, it's lava. Ah, so I guess we're gonna go this way? Let's go this way. Well, you can, you can tell the block's different. See how the block is cobbled? This is regular deep slate. That's cobbled deep slate. So I put that there. Well, it will, am, am I at? I'm at 57. Minus 57. Where you can find both diamonds and redstone. Did I not give you that, that image, Hafnium? We're sea level now. 63 still. That didn't change. 63, 64. You just didn't bookmark it because you're dumb. All right, well, let me get you the link again. Go go bookmark it this time, Hafnium. There. You big old dummy. Guys, it's more lava. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we go, as long as we're looking for pockets. Actually, it does matter where we go. Uh, F3G. I need to be on a chunk border. Right here. I don't need that iron right now. We're not gonna worry about that. Hey, look at there. Redstone. I'll take it. Uh oh. Hey, look, more redstone. Oh, God, it's lava. Hopefully that took got rid of it. No, it did not. There we go. Okay, cool. Give me! Beautiful. Onward. Hey, Wizzy, you so fine, you so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Wizzy. Hey, Wizzy. Graf Shark left me. I wanted to talk to him some more. He was like, I'm out. Peace. I gotta go spend time with my hot wife. Man's gotta eat. He does. Come on. 
Stupid lava. Do those occasional fine lines show chunk boundaries or something else? Yeah, they show chunk borders. Well, they, they show they show different things. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Don't swim in the lava, but I like swimming in the lava. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. This diamond here is going to be... Oh, nope. Oh, there it is. That means this one is too? Well, that was good. Okay. Um, so the, the way chunk, the, the way the chunk border thing works, slow cuz, here, I'll, I'll cut some blocks out to show you. Uh, the key combination on Java is F3 plus G. And it shows you a couple of lines. Let me move this out of the way here if I can show it to you. All right, so if I do F3G, so this blue is the intersection of uh, chunks. So this is a chunk right here. You can see the blue line right there. This is a chunk here, and this is a chunk here. The yellow line is like every two blocks, but then these light blue lines are like quarters. So there's two blocks yellow, two blocks quarter, Two blocks yellow, two blocks quarter, two blocks yellow, two blocks quarter, and, and that's how it that's how it lines it out. I think it also does the same thing vertically as well. See the yellow, one, two, and then here's the quarter because the chunks are also up and down as well. So this this line right here is a chunk border, and this is an intersection of borders. So that's that's how that works. Um, so we should be mining this way. That way we're along the chunk border. But it wasn't. So that's why I turned it on to find the border. That way we can just go. It, it is handy. Especially when you're dealing with spawn chunks and stuff. Or laying out perimeters. Mathlete, that's what I try to do, man. If I if I know, I, I will teach it. If I don't know, I'll be like, hey, have you looked on the wiki? Oh, hey, look, we've been here before. Hey, look, we've, we've cut this way. That'll be easy to get back to then. Oh, man. I don't want gravel. Go away, gravel. 